Hi, it's Pavel with a quick C Sharp homework from uh, the book uh, C Sharp 2012 How to Program. Chapter 6, exercise 12. And this is all we have to do. Write an app that calculates the product of the odd integers from 1 to 7. Very quick, very simple. We got the, will be obviously looping, so I'm going to just start with a counter, initialize it to 1. Why 1? 1 to 7. Remember, so let's do that. That's the first iteration. Uh, uh, will be one, and now let's get the product of those numbers. I'll I'll initialize it to nothing. We don't we don't need to. Okay, now we have a set. Uh, you know, we know how many times we're gonna loop. So one to seven. So we're going to loop seven times. So we can use for loop. For counter uh, equals one, so I don't even have to initialize it. I, I like to initialize the values, but I don't want to like initialize it like double, even though it, it really won't matter. Uh, so from one to seven, we are looping, and of course counter plus plus. Now we need only the odd numbers. Remember, so. Uh, we are ignoring every even numbers. So if our counter mod two not equals zero, if it equals zero, then it's even number. If it doesn't equal zero, then it's odd number. So we are only ca capturing those. Then our product uh, it's a time equals the counter. counter. And uh, unassigned local have, so <laughs> I needed to actually initialize it, but just to, to zero. All right, so a uh, product is initialized to zero, but, but over here it's assigned new values uh, based on the numbers that it's multiplied with or by. And let's do the console dot uh, right line and uh, the product of odd numbers 1 to 7 is and it's going I will I will do a num, uh, placeholder 0 is going to be a number with no uh, decimal points I mean these are just integers and the placeholder it will hold the product so this is just a formatting thing you could just uh, the product of the number one uh, to seven is and then do this product and you know plus product but I like to format it with the placeholders just for fun console that line so we can pause the output and that's all let's run it and we got the product of what number one to seven is zero that's which is obviously wrong uh, uh, you know what, let me do a quick debug here. So if I go to the loop, now counter equals one, so it's an odd number, and a product equals zero, our counter equals one, zero times one, oh, all right, my bad. I initialize it to zero, so it always will be zero, because zero times anything is zero. So let's just do one. And now we have 105. Let's verify that. So we have a one times three times uh, five times seven. And we have 105. So it is correct. So again, we got our counter for our loop. We initialize the product to one because if it's at zero, we always multiply by zero, which always we will always get zero. We go into the loop, we check if it is, uh, in this case, if it is not even, then do the multiplication and add the result to the product. And then I'll put the, uh, the result into, in my case, in the formatted uh, console that right line. So there you have it, very simple, very quick. Hope it helped you and I'll see you next time. Take care.